And the city council will vote tomorrow on the plan to revitalize the historic Walnut Hill neighborhood. That's between Hamilton and Cumming in the heart of Omaha. The plan includes more green space and traffic control. And there's a second recommendation to rezone the area. KETV Newswatch 7's Jessica Perez spoke with homeowners who have mixed emotions. Belinda Daniels has lived in the Walnut Hills neighborhood for six years. The lack of green space and concerns with traffic safety sparked her involvement with In Common to create a vision for the neighborhood's future. Like I said, I'm raising kids in this neighborhood and I want to be able to stay here a long time. She's part of a steer group giving direction on a plan. Christian Gray with In Common says they've acted as a facilitator in the process. Some of these neighborhoods that In Common works in are are really ripe for redevelopment and gentrification. So this um, really gets the neighbors engaged in being able to guide the development. Traffic control, better lighting, and preserving history are all focuses of the plan. But city planning also approved a recommendation to rezone parts of the neighborhood. That doesn't sit well with 23-year-old resident Murray Hayes. The concern is if it becomes easier for a developer to buy vacant lots or to buy a house and then tear it down and put up an apartment building. What's gonna to happen to the feel of that neighborhood? The proposed future land use plan would allow multifamily housing units to be built. While the two agenda items are different, Hayes feels they're being pushed together. I'm concerned that they will start with the neighborhood plan and then eventually get the land use to pass, which is gonna just be distressful to these inner city neighborhoods. He feels there's more questions than answers with both. Instead, he'd like to see changes happen one step at a time. While Daniels has mixed emotions on the land use, she hopes the neighborhood plan moves forward. I hope they agree with our proposal of everything, but I also hope they put good thought into it and make it. I want this to be used as a great, great tool. Gray says in common plans to ask council to postpone its vote Tuesday. There's a lot of questions around the proposed future land use map, so we want to make sure there's enough time to, to digest the material and to really understand what it means. Jessica Perez, KTV, News Watch 7.